Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have learned how to set the format flags using the set your function and also, you know, how to clear the flags. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn about three member functions that are defined in the iOS class that set the format parameters like the width, the precision and the fill character. So the functions that do these things are the width, precision and the fill and uh, we're going to learn them in this tutorial. So first of all, we're going to learn about the precision function. So in our program, you know, normally when we output a floating point number, for example, let's say um, 123.456 you know, the six digits will be, you know, printed. If I build and run this, you know, I will get 123.456. But here, by using this precision method, what we can do is we can determine the number of digits to be displayed when we use a floating point number. For example, let's say here, you know, we just wanted to print only five digits. At that time, we can use a precision method and we can instruct the streams to display only that specified number of digits you know when we use floating point numbers so here for that we're going to use the precision meta and here in this tutorial i'm going to use that with an object of the o stream class you know which is c out so it's going to be c out dot then precision and then we need to set the number so let's say i want to display only five digits when i use the floating point numbers now if i build and run this you know you guys can see we get one two three and four five only five digits and you know the value is converted to the nearest higher value you know you know one two three point four five six to one two three dot four six so if i wanted to print only four digits and if i build and run this and you know you guys can see we get the one two three dot five you know that four five six is converted to five so this is about the precision method you know which is available from the ios class you know which is used to set the number of digits to be displayed you know when we use a floating point number so this uh, precision method doesn't have any effect on the integer numbers so just to demonstrate that i'm gonna use c out and i'm just gonna print out the integer number let's say one two three four five six and let's end this line and i'm just gonna build and run this program and you know you guys can see one two three four four five six you know there will not be any effect on the in integer numbers so this precision method has only effect on the floating point numbers and the next thing is about the width meta by default when a value is output it occupies only as much space as the number of characters it takes to display it for example let's say if we had to print out a string called high and here you know this high has two characters and it, that's why it's gonna take only two space to display this high but we can use this width method and we can set the minimum field width that should be used whenever it displays something to the screen so now i'm just gonna save this build and run this you know we'll get high you know we'll get high you know only two spaces are used now we're going to use the width method and we're going to set the minimum field width to be used. So it's going to be C out. And here in this tutorial, we're going to use that with an uh, O stream object, you know, which is C out. And then it's going to be width. And then we need to pass the number. So here, let's say 10. Now I'm going to save this. I'm going to build and run this program. And now you guys can see we have one, two, three dot five you know which is from this first c out and because of this precision and then we have high so the second line here you know has a field width of 10 characters so here you know we have high and then uh, eight spaces you know because of the spaces we can see them here now the next thing is you know this width is applied to all type of values so if i copy this and paste it here and if i run this okay you know sometimes we need to use this width every time uh, you know we output something to the screen so i'm going to copy this uh, line and paste it here and if i build and run this you know now you guys can see you know um you know the minimum field width is 10. the next thing is you know if the number of characters that you want to display is more than the minimum field width specified here then you know there will not be any truncation of characters so just to demonstrate that here i just gonna add some lines let's say hi i am anil shetty 
and I am awesome all right I think uh, now we have more than 10 characters I'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see you know the space is not truncated the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is about uh, the fill meta so here we have seen that you know the space will be truncated with the number of characters that are gonna display is less than the field width specified so we can fill them with any other characters using the fill meta so here I just gonna use this fill method to specify to the C++ to truncate the star symbol you know when it truncates some uh, characters so here it's gonna be fill and uh, I just need to pass a character here let's say star and now um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and paste it after this and we're gonna remove this one you know so that I can demonstrate everything and now if I'm gonna build and run this and uh, now you guys can see we have the spaces here you know here the star is truncated you know when uh, the number of characters that are gonna display are less than the uh, minimum field width specified all right the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is you know here so here you guys can see you know it is right justified or you know the truncation of this star character is added as a prefix so we want to left justify it or you know add these characters after printing the characters that we wanted to print so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna copy this again and uh, paste it in the next line and uh, we're gonna add a flag you know you know which is gonna tell to the C++ to left justify it so I'm gonna use uh, C out dot set f function and I just gonna pass ios and uh, left and that's it and now I'm gonna build and run this program and now you guys can see here you know it is left justified so this is it guys this is about the precision width and the fill methods in C++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial